Donuts, it probably won't even do donuts. I mean, it might. to the 2J car again. Um, right here, there's our, you know, in the front, I don't know if there's really a video, but some of it was just slammed on the ground. Um, so anyhow, this, they cut the springs on it, just, I guess it was low, just stock struts and springs. Um, it previously, so anyhow, this car, it had AEM, it had big injectors, had big turbo, it had all the shit, it was making like 600 or so. It had coilovers on it. The guy who I got it from got it from a guy, and he took the coilovers off of it and put these on there. So, I'm rubbing, uh, well, I robbed these. These are the old T and flexes that used to be on the on the drift car over here. Um, you know, and I, I pulled those off in, in favor of the, the BC Racing one. So now we have uh, this guy that the TNs used to be on, you know, my shelf. Um, so I put some stock stock ones on that that I had laying around. And uh, so yeah, now I got one on this side, one right there, and then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and yank this guy off. But look at this one. Yeah, this this right here is what, what was on, on that, that thing right there. So that was, that was the only, you know, the only spring that, uh, that it had. So I mean, when I was, when I'd back up off the lift right there, that guy on the bottom, it was like, you know, with the stupid exhaust. So yeah, um, did a donut in it, uh, NA donut, and drove it down the street, and it was, seemed pretty decent. So uh, I just need to clean out the, what the hell's the intercooler? Intercooler, the piping it had, uh, well, has, you know, all kinds of grime and shit from just sitting around in a damn shop. So I got to uh, I got to clean all that out and then figure out, you know, kind of how to get it from like right here to like right there and then from like over here to like right there. So, so yeah, now they're on there. Um, you know, actually, once they were on there, actually a little higher than that. I lowered it about a finger width on the coilover. So still need to lower it a, a bit more, but it almost almost matches the back. Um, you know, and the the way the downpipe is right now. Um, you know, there's kind of, kind of not too much clearance down there anyhow. Can't really see too much, but uh, yeah. Intercooler and stuff all hooked up. Got a blow off valve on there. Got some vacuum lines hooked up. The IAT sensor, map sensor. Um, you know, little things like that all hooked up. Um, got it so it, uh, you know, it starts starts off the key. As you can tell, you know, there's no windshield in here, so. Uh, I'm gonna take it on its uh, first drive. You know, got my got my helmet here, so I could uh, so I could see. So you know, it's not too damn cold. Yeah. brakes either so I have to use the damn uh, e-brake Yeah. 
of sketchy first drive, but uh, but a first drive at least. without a donut, you know? So yeah, first drive. That was, uh, was kind of cold. But uh, at least you gotta drive the son of a bitch. So here's the inside of the engine bay. Um, you can see right here, this is the IAT sensor. And it's going over here to the mass airflow sensor plug because it uses you know the the wires or whatever there's like an IAT belt into the mass airflow sensor so I just have the wires kind of put in there right now just to see if it would work um, I wired the coolant temp sensor you know map sensors plugged in I plugged in a boost gauge the waste gates hooked up put in a blow off valve this is some you know ghetto intercooler piping that you know that I had pretty much just laying around there's a little bit of intercooler piping that came with it and that was pretty much just these sections right here, but they're not that nice anyhow. And I just kind of had this laying around and I figured, you know, blow off valve would, would, would work. So it does. Um, I uh, got the throttle cable hooked up. I just, you know, made that wide and stuck that in between that thing. There's supposed to be two bolts on it and I just, you know, it was a little bit loose because it would, you know, you could get it to fit in or it wouldn't fit in this one. I don't know. Anyhow. Had to use this this guy and uh, put it right there, so that works. Um, right now, I don't have don't have any O2 sensor or uh, air fuel on it, so I just made this little thing, you know, because it has that two bolt flange. So I just put one of these dummy plugs in there, and then just stuck that over it just so it would stop, you know, chooching in the engine bay. Um, back here, I got a. Uh, I went ahead and and wired the you know the fuel pump to an actual bat to the actual battery so I had like two fuel pump I don't know what the hell they're doing but anyhow I have uh, you know this right here um, going to the the relay so it's just directly off the battery and then I found the wire that was triggering it or I found a wire that was going through the harness the factory harness up by the ECU and so now, now when you uh, hit the so yeah, that uh, all that crap works. Um, I got the tail lights working, headlights, you know, all that crap. So those guys work. Um, it has, you know, these HIDs up here in the front and uh, got those working I don't have the alternator charging that's why when I was driving it the the headlights went out because running out of power and that was kind of probably why it was kind of acting silly too but uh, this turbo is uh, is bad or I'm assuming it's bad it's got this you know I got it from a buddy and it uh, he had it on his his V8 turbo V8 and blew up the engine, so some of the piston went through the impeller and the exhaust. So I think that's you know maybe why it's kind of when it compressor surges, it, it shoots a little bit of oil out. So uh, you know um, that's that. But uh, yeah, that's uh, it's kind of coming along. I put put those coilovers. You know, up on the front right now, so it's got kind of like a positive camber on it. But at least I could I could move it without it, you know, the damn spring falling out of it. But yeah, that's uh, it's kind of an up the update on this. Um, the Evo, I uh, well, pretty much the machine shop called me. They said that the, the oil clearance on the you know the uh, aftermarket rods is a little bit. Uh, or they they measured the oil clearance on the aftermarket rods with the standard bearing and I guess the housing bore you know housing bore on the aftermarket rods is just a little bit bigger so you need a little 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 bit thicker of a bearing to make up for that so I think it's like you know 0 0.001 
So I think that's like a thousandth um, bigger. And basically we're gonna use, you know, standard bearing on the bottom, you know, and then the, the oversized bearing on the top just to kind of make up for it to get the oil clearance exactly where we want. Um, yeah, it's, you know, it's like two in the morning, Monday. So, um, you know, the day I smash up the video, so you guys get in the update. But, uh, but yeah, I should, uh, should uh, probably be able to pick up the engine either today or tomorrow. Uh, you know, I, I, they should have got the bearings on Friday and uh, start putting that thing back together. I still need to order a few little things for it, but, uh, you know, overall, I just threw my extra wheels off of the, the drift car on it just to, for kind of shits and giggles. I don't know if I actually showed you guys that or not, but kind of like they, the way they fit in the back. They don't fit in the front because of the brakes. So I have like a 25 mil spacer on there just to get it to sit on there. Um, you know, and I still need to do seats and stuff like that as well. But, uh, but yeah, that's kind of kind of that. Um, I didn't go to I didn't go to the pro am. You know, the, the what was it two days ago uh, in Phoenix? I didn't end up going to that one. I really wanted to. Um, you don't even know how many how many times I thought about uh, you know loading my car in the trailer and and just heading out, but. Uh, you know, I, I think it, it, it kind of goes with my whole kind of saving saving money this season and trying to figure out something, you know, to where where I'm not blowing, you know, all kinds of money just, just to go drift. But, uh, but, yeah, thank you. Thank you guys for all the comments. Um, you know, you guys are you guys are pretty smart and, you know, and uh, I guess the, the aspect of me saving money and stuff as well. So a lot of, a lot of good suggestions. I read all the comments. Um, didn't reply to them all but uh yeah thank you guys for your your insight and for pretty much saying that you'd, you'd stick together with me but uh but yeah i'd, I'd kind of like to do you know the the builds and stuff too you know i, I like building shit um then showing you guys stuff and kind of do how-to videos and um you know hopefully hopefully i could help some of you guys along the way or give you some inspiration or motivation to go outside and work on your own shit so uh but yeah thanks Let's <laughs> go.